Hello, welcome back here. In this video I will guide you through Blockbuster Part 2 event. Part 2 of this event contains 16 quests that you have to complete. Most of them provide you with Blockbuster tickets as a reward. Also you can get some V-Bucks and one mission rewards you with a Mythic Hero. My video is a brief description of every single quest mission here and to make it easier for you to navigate through the video I've created timestamps so check out the description if you need to jump to a certain type of quest. As always if you will like the video, enjoy what I'm doing here and you want to see more Fortnite related content on this channel, I invite you to subscribe to my channel and hit that like button under the video. Comments are also welcome and let's go! First quest of part 2 of the blockbuster event is called Be Gone. You will need to find 5 fans which spawn in any zone and as a reward you will get 250 blockbuster tickets. If you need more details in the description you will find a link for a separate video I made on it. The next one, second quest here is Sleep On It where you need to collect mattresses. You will have to destroy beds for a chance to drop a mattress from it. That's why I recommend to choose a city or suburban zone where you have a lot of apartments and houses to visit. Completing this mission will grant you 100 V-Bucks and unlock We Interrupt This Broadcast quest where you need to destroy TVs for a chance to find circuit boards and collect 10 of them I think. You may need more than one mission to complete this quest. I recommend you to choose a city zone or suburban zone wherever there's apartment or a house there's a chance that TV will be inside and that's where you need to go. Next, lose control, find 5 toxic barrels, this one is an easy one because they can be found on any type of map. In my case I needed 2 missions because I found 3 barrels on one mission and 3 barrels on a second mission. So I was able to complete this quest after completing 2 missions and get 250 blockbuster tickets. And you also will get 250 blockbuster tickets for completing the next quest, Project Taylor. You will have to interact with 6 server racks, the green ones. If I were you I would search for those in industrial zones where there's a lot of tech focused factories and so on. Or maybe go to a grassland to find those servers in a bunker or something. In my case industrial zone was more than enough to complete the quest and get those blockbuster tickets. Next is X-Ray. In this quest you will have to find piles of tires and destroy them to get some rubber. And when I hear pile of tires I also look at industrial type of zone because there's a lot of junkyards there and rubbers. I think there's even a racetrack focused around those so maybe you will get lucky and find those there. I went there myself. I've managed to complete the quest in a single try to get 100 V-Bucks as a reward. Once you are done with the rubber, there's something more difficult awaiting for you. It's called Ready to War. You will have to collect Shielder Husk data. There's no 100% drop chance here. And those Shielder Husks, well, they can appear in almost every situation where you are fighting those Husks, but turns out that they didn't. So eventually I started searching and found out that most of the time, if not always, they appear when you interact with Storm Chest. Some of those random groups of monsters that are spawning during the mission and you see them as yellow dots on your minimap, they also may have shielders um, moving along with them. Some people said that maybe you should go for uh, for destroy encampments quest. In my case I was really unlucky with those, so I completed the mission entirely by focusing on opening storm chests during the mission and just destroying monsters around it. Some of those shielders they do drop the quest item and eventually I completed the mission. And once I did, something else happened that I need to mention here. I'm not 100% sure if it will help you or not, but I think that it won't hurt you to know that. In one of my uh, later missions I've managed to find a lot of those shielders attacking me during the retrieve the data quest. Not sure if this was random or not, if, if this is something typical for this type of mission, but maybe it is and maybe it will help you. Anything helps, right? So yeah, keep that in mind. And also keep your 250 blockbuster tickets, which will be the reward here once you complete the mission. Yeah, next quest is called Block. You will need to collect stainless steel. It's again a pain in the ass type of the quest. It's difficult to find those quest objectives and quest objective is a tanker truck. You will need to destroy those. My approach to this quest was that I wanted to find them on industrial zone and I did. But they weren't always dropping so I found like 3 trucks per map. And some of them they did drop the quest item but it was difficult for me to complete the quest. I needed 3 or 4 missions to do so. 
once again 250 blockbuster tickets in return. But at least it unlocks the next mission which has a cool reward, you will get Mythic Soldier Carbite when you complete the quest and it requires you to deploy the suit in a combat setting and prepare to a fight. That's exactly what you need to do, but to find the mission, get to your map view, select event zone map, choose the mission there and make it public or call some friends in because you will need extra help. In the first stage of the quest, you need to allow the suit to get damage. After it gets a certain amount of damage, uh, you have very little time to build fortifications and prepare for a serious defense because there's a huge monster wave coming to your direction and you need to kill a lot of them to, to complete the quest. I managed to do it in my second try with a random team of four people. After you obtain your mythic hero you will need to collect farm sounds and again this is the typical mission here in this event 250 blockbuster tickets as a reward and I found stripper map chose a grassland type of map and I've noticed that well you need to be on a green area if for some reason you chose a city map you still should search for those cows in in a grass type of area on your map so go on the border of the map instead of inside of the city it sounds easy and it is easy but it requires you to complete more than one mission same story with the next quest Baby Daddy rewards you with 250 blockbuster tickets. I found 3 and 4 of those toys per map, which means you will need more than one mission to complete this quest. Next quest was a handshake where you need to collect clocks. I found one clock in a city type of map and it dropped me 4 quest objective items. So yeah, choose a city or suburban zone, search in apartments, search in houses and you should be good to get that 100 V-Bucks easily. Carbon dating quest where you need to collect sample of carbon dating is also easy because it's all about killing or knocking down chrome husk and those husks currently appear on every type of map, every type of mission. It shouldn't be a problem, in my case it was my first try but I'm not sure if this was my luck or is it 100% guaranteed drop chance. I've got 250 blockbuster tickets and moved on to male volant presence quest where you need to deploy scanners. I also w was lucky here, I chose a forest map and completed this quest 5 out of 5 items found in a single mission, which is great. I got my 100 V-Bucks and moved on to Taste Wizard quest, which requires you to destroy Taste Wizard. And yeah, that's a really poor description. All you need to do is to g approach a restaurant on a city or suburban zone. It can be a Durburger or anything like it. Just get near to it and you should be able to see a glowing animation on your character. That's the sign that you were there, that it counts. You will get 250 blockbuster tickets and you are good to go to one last quest, which is called Lie to Me. Search for a lie detector and again, it sounds confusing, but it's not. You need to break ambulances and hospital equipment. City zone is your way to go since that's where hospitals spawn and look at the map on my screen right now. This is what I found when I entered the hospital, so there's plenty of it to, to destroy, to smash, and there's no way you, you couldn't complete it once you find a hospital on a single map. If you do not find a hospital, just search for the road and check for ambulances, and some equipment around the ambulances will also count if there is, there is one. Destroy it, get 250 blockbuster tickets and call it a day, because that's the last quest of Blockbuster Part 2 event. If anything in this video is not clear to you, if you have additional questions and I have answers, just leave me a comment below and I will come back to you, help you out if I can. One last reminder, if you like what you are seeing on this channel, if you want me to continue to create Fortnite related videos, leave a like, subscribe or comment below, let me know that you enjoy my content. Thank you very much and see you later.